What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with another of this week's weekly sneaker rotation. Um, before you get into this, guys, please, please, please go check out my last video on my fit of the day featuring Sample Lion D, Bullhead, and Adidas. I will put a card up here below. Just click that and check it out. I put a lot of work in that vid. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of them, go over there, comment, like, check it out, and give me your honest opinion, guys. I need that. Um, I did that. I expected it to get a lot more videos because I know you guys like it when I put in the extra work. And I put in a lot of work. And uh, I'm not going to say I was upset, but I was expecting it to be way more hit with it. Go check that video out. I will, like I said, I'll leave a card up below. Go check that out, please. And let me know what you guys think about it. I put a lot of work and hours into that. And uh, just let me know if you want to see more of that. Because, you know, if you, if you guys give me some good feedback, I'll keep giving them fit of the day videos. More stuff coming soon. And huge shout out to everyone who uh, copped the sample line D, Foxtrot, Fishtail, um, Parker. Uh, it sold out. And uh, we got some new stuff coming in. Stay tuned for Monday. We got some good news for you guys. So thank you for all that love and support on that. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I said it two times, IG, Vine, whatever, all that stuff at Tony D2 Wild. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this week's weekly sneaker rotation. Let's go. For Sunday, I went a little classic with it and pulled out the Jordan 11 Cool Gray. A classic, classic kick. A lot of people don't know that Jordan wore these. He wore these with the Wizards in 2000 and I believe one, and then they re retro them in uh, what, 2011 or 12 or something like that. I'm not 100% sure on the actual. Uh, 2011, they, retail, they re released these. Um, a great shoe overall. I needed to do a throwback Thursday on it. Um, I'm just happy to have these, and I just don't like to wear them that much. I don't like them getting dirty. That cool gray upper, you know, new buck suede and patent leather is just too clean to wear as frequently. So I try to let them get a lot of ice and collect, you know, their uh, time in a box. I don't like to wear them as much, but when I do wear them, they're super fucking clean. I still want to get those Jordan 9 cool grays. I like them a lot, but uh, yeah, for um, Sunday, pulled out the Jordan 11 cool gray for a little bit of light work, not much, just chilling with them really. Jordan 11, cool gray. For Monday, I copped the Saucony Grid, SD Grid. I actually posted a picture on IG about these, tweeted them about these. These are actually available on Saucony's page. I will link that down below in the description where you can cop these Saucony SD Grids. Um, these are like, I think going for like 80 bucks maybe, and they're, they're real low price, but that maroon, you know I can't go wrong with this maroon. This shit looks great on feet. I have to do the review on it. Um, maybe, I don't know. But they come with three sets of laces, oval, dope, dope, dope. Go check them out though, guys. I'm, I highly recommend copping this. Um, like I said, I, I linked you to like everything that dropped with Saucony on February 1st. And this was with them. These shoes are fucking magnificent. Magnificent. Saucony SD Grid. Excuse me. Yeah. For Tuesday, pulled out a classic that we'll be seeing more of this upcoming week. Unboxing coming soon. Jordan 4 White Cement. We know that the release is coming with that Nike on the back this weekend coming up. So uh, definitely gonna be looking good into this. I'm gonna be keeping this pair. I love the yellowing on it. I'm gonna still wear the hell out of these. I'm gonna let the other ones sit on ice for a little bit because I wanna I wanna kill these. I need to kill these first and I'll move on to the next ones. But definitely a classic shoe. Jordan 4 White Cement. Didn't can't go wrong with it. Did my throwback Thursday on this a while back. Was happy to have this in the collection. And uh, this, you need this. This is a this is a shoe that every man needs in their life. Jordan 4 White Cement. So uh, if you didn't get it last time, make sure you get it this time. You need this. And there are going to be a lot of them. I heard they're going to be GR'd the fuck out of everywhere. Make sure you go check out the giveaway we got going. I will try to put that up below. That ends, I mean above, that ends on Wednesday, guys. Go and sign up for that giveaway. One entry per video. And I hope you don't, don't comment in this with your giveaway stuff. Because you're, you're, you're basically going to get overlooked. Check above in the video. So, yeah. Jordan 4, White Cement. Tuesday. For Wednesday, I pulled out one of my most recent OG classic, whatever you want to call it, another maroon, Jordan 6 maroon, uh, with the Nike on the back, the OG. 
I had to go ahead and just throw it up real quick, a little quickie sticky, nothing much. I, you know, like I don't wear my kicks out to everywhere. I wear these usually when I head to my girl's house or the gas station, you know, I just threw these on, went to her house, chill. I, I see her almost every single day, so I'm always kind of semi-fresh, you know? I can look like a bum though around her because she loves me. And that's how you know when you got a good girl, you can look like a bum, but I pulled the Jordan 6 Maroons out, I did my thing, you know, alligator, the alligator skin on it, you know, alligator nuts, you know, you can hate me for saying it, but that's what it is. That's what the fuck this shit is on here. Ass Nike, fucking fairy tale balls, so yeah. Jordan 6 Maroon with the Nike on the Bizak. Smoke that motherfucking Krizak. This is for motherfucking Wizak, nigga. Jordan 6 Maroon. For Thursday, pull these out. Did a throwback Thursday on that Tiffany Diamond Pussy Pink. Tiffany Diamond Pearl, whatever the fuck the color, aqua the color is. Nice, nice shoe slept on in some ways because they 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 they, they found, people found out they were going to be a lot more than the, the low so probably people weren't going as crazy for them at first the resale was a little good though i think people were getting like five six at first you got the real tight like, like i know i was saying it last time but you really do got the alligator balls on there like crocodile nuts on the black you know and um i think it's a dope kick i don't wear them that much i really kind of let them sit on ice and i pull them out here every now and then still got the nike zoom on the inside there, size nine, fits great on my foot. I go up on a nine, eight and a half, kind of tight on dunks. But uh, yeah, nine is nine is pretty good. Nine is pretty good. Got that, boom, boom. Was this Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Nike Dunk Pearl. Oh, fuck. It's Tiffany Dunk, bitch. For Friday, we got the Nike Deep what? See, I'm, I'm catching myself this time. The Nike Penny 2, uh, what's this, University Blue? I'm believing University Blue is a color, or College Blue, one or the other. Uh, I recently copped these. Um, Kicks USA had them. I think they still might got them. If not, go check the video out on this with the review. Dope classic kick. I'm waiting on the um, the heat color to drop. It might be dropping sooner. It might have already dropped. I don't know. My release dates are kind of fucked. I got to get back up to date on that. But I know the heat colorway is coming out soon and I want to get that to the collection as well. The overall, this shoe, great, 150. The quality of the leather is very nice and, and plush. And it, it's, it's got the old, you know, old nutsack, like, like skin, you know what I'm saying? Like it's real wrinkled, what you, what you want. You can tell when it's like a nice, like baseball glove leather, you know, it's not all. I like tumbled leather and, and cr it's something about a leather. You can know when a leather has a good look to it. It's not all flat, like this. This is not as good as looking as this right now. So, you know, the, uh, the Penny 2, uh, College Blue, Friday. Last but not least for Saturday, I pulled out my Pumas. You know, the BH Impact dropped recently. If you haven't already, go check the video out. I rocked the Puma Sky High and the BHM with the whole Puma jumpsuit. You know, I was just looking fresh, you know, on Saturday, really kept just chilling after the gym. I actually wore, um, what did I wear before that? Flip flops, I think, or something. I had some, or some, some gym stuff, but then I took a shower and then I was wearing that. Go check my vlog out, but I don't think in my vlog I was wearing that because that was before the gym. This was after the gym, I thought I took a shower. Puma Sky Highs, and um, yeah, can't really go wrong with these. Shout out to Puma once again, and go check the review out on this if you guys get a chance. Puma Sky High, Saturday. Yeah, Alright guys, thanks for tuning in once again. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole week with the sneaker rotation. Forgive me for the music guys. I know you guys kind of get annoyed at the same music and stuff like that. It's hard finding music that I can use. It's hard. It's very hard. So forgive me for that. If you're getting sick of the music, send me some music to my Gmail at TonyD615. I'm doing a video, mom. Get out the room. But anyway, uh, just check my G send me some stuff to Gmail. If it's good, I'll put it up there. If it's not, I might not respond. Forgive me for that. But it's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in, checking out, guys. Peace. A bitch wanna stroll, I'ma let a strip. Strip, strip. My niggas pop and roll, you won't see them dip. A pistol charging nigga still keep the feel. Fuck a nigga, fuck a bitch.